Thunder Road is supposed to be fast, but it's also supposed to slow down at the end of the ride. Last night, it didn't. And the brake slowed us down, so we hit him at full force coming off the last ramp. Kevin Morrow is one of seven passengers sent to the hospital with minor injuries after their train sped into the loading station, bumping an empty train in front of them. It was like everything stopped. I mean, we all, all of us went forward. The Thunder Road coaster has an automatic braking system with six brakes between the Thunder Road tunnel and the end of the ride. There are also two emergency stop buttons, one of which was activated without any luck last night. The South Carolina Department of Labor last inspected the coaster in March. It passed. It also passed an in-house test Monday morning. Each day, we put our rides through uh, uh, three phases of inspections, electrical, mechanical, and operational. Then again, a roller coaster isn't operating normally when the scary part comes at the end.